going to hit start recording. All right. Uh, thanks, Michael, for the great talk. Um, so the Q&A is live now. Uh, folks can ask questions on IRC or the pad. Um, and then at some later point, we'll also open up this BBB room itself for people to join and ask their questions here if they want. Michael, take it away. OK, I will start with the first question of Etherpad is, are you using this as it as a replacement of X, uh, EXWM? Um, no, not yet, but I'm planning to. Um, I'm a, uh, I use um, EXWM since many years, like for my main computing environment with Emacs. And I would love to have a replacement in Rayland. I'm not actually that sure if it's that needed, but um, I plan on using it. It's not finished. So is it testable? Yes, it, it, it is testable. Um, I have gonna uh, um, provide you the code um, at the end of the video there was a link to my my site but there's no site yet i bought this url a year ago and that's um, a good reason to put something on there so um, wait a few days and you can download a git repository at least that's the plan and then you can test it um, input handling is still missing as i said um, Yes, that makes it a bit rough. So um, the input is only um, guided by where the mouse pointer is, and um, it's it's missing in the C part, in the C server part. But if this is in there, I think you can use it as a replacement. So it's testable, and it's not a replacement yet. Have you considered contributing to Emacs course? The next question. Uh, yes. Is it a general question if I would like to do that? Yeah, I got quite a lot into Emacs core in the last year because I did um, language work with Lisp and really nerded out and got to know the core. So I like it. Why not? If it's a more um, specific question, if I would like to contribute um, the Wayland support to Emacs core, then it, I'm not that sure if it belongs there. Like at first, I thought, of course, you have to put it in the core. It's C, it has to work together. But um, after I looked into it a little bit more, how to do uh, a Wayland compositor with Emacs, I found out, OK, there's this Wayland protocol. And all the programs that are working together in a, a Wayland desktop, they talk in this protocol. And when I got Emacs to talk about the Wayland protocol, it was solved. And that is an Elisp library because it's an, an asynchronous process, like a network connection. And Emacs has an event loop that listens to um, uh, to, to um, messages on the network. So it's integrated into the Emacs core. You don't have to do anything more. But where it uh, gets interesting again is this idea I had, um, maybe we could use it for more in Emacs. Um, Emacs is fundamentally about drawing buffers to a screen and not fundamentally but the part that's not a list machine the graphical part it's it's uh, drawing buffers to a screen and you have to composite these buffers somehow and now we're new using the different um, desktop toolkits like gtk under linux and um, maybe we don't have to we can just draw pixel buffers um, like uh, in draw into a pixel buffer like I don't know what do we use for rendering i forgot cairo or something and this could just write into a pixel buffer so now we arranged and emacs is already a window manager so it's not that difficult to into implement a window manager with emacs because emacs is a window manager pretty good one i think and um no i just lost a little bit my train of thought but so far to contributing to the core and we could do more with it so next question. Oh, and Is... one thing, Michael, quickly. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, it would be great if you could also repeat the questions for the stream um, before you answer them. That would be awesome. I will do that. Thank you. Um, question. Is this valent compositor in Emacs? What different with re X reparent in X11? OK, this is a little bit difficult uh, for me. To understand, but I answered anyway. So first, is this a valent compositor in Emacs? I would say no, because the Emacs 
doesn't do the valent compositing. Um, I first planned to do it like this, but it doesn't work out like this because you have to um, handle um, uh, file descriptors and Emacs can't handle file descriptors uh, except you go down to the C part. So no, it's not. It's a, a C um, a WL roots um, valent compositor that talks to Emacs and Emacs is, um, it's just like a helper compositor. Emacs says where to put the windows, it's the window manager. And in the future, where to put the input. So like you can insert Emacs into the input stream like XWM does it. Okay, then uh, what different with X reparent in X11? I don't actually know what X reparent is, so I'm sorry, I have to skip this one. How would multiple monitors be handled? Separate frames? Yes, separate frames. I all This is already testable, it's in implemented. Um, as soon as a new monitor uh, crops up, um, the Emacs is, um, the, the Valent protocol informs about a new output event and um, Emacs then pops up a new frame on this output. And depending on how usable you want to have it, you can just, uh, there could be a menu like, where do you want the output? Do you want to have a screen on it or something like that? And then you have output handling. Output handling is already working. So separate frames, one per output, because that's the Emacs analog. Like you have windows, you have frames, frames are like monitors. And the special thing about Wayland outputs is they don't have to be a whole monitor or, or hardware device. They can also be like a normal frame. Next question is, um, could you make it so you can restart Emacs without logging out or switch to non-Emacs buffer while Emacs is blocking? These are the biggest issues with XWM. While Emacs is blocking. Okay, I have to think about this a little bit because right now I have a problem with restarting and the code I wrote. Emacs starts the uh, Wayland server and then starts to talk to it, at the, the server to Emacs. And as soon as the server terminates, Emacs terminates. Because GTK has this feature and it's a bug since several years and they um, know it, but apparently it's a feature, not a bug. So um, as soon <laughs> As a Wayland GTK window terminates, it terminates its process. That means if there's an Emacs frame on Wayland and the frame is powered by GTK as Emacs currently does it, um, Wayland terminates the frame, Emacs gets terminated, whole thing is terminated. Well, normally you would like something that like an Emacs terminal frame and then you pop open Wayland buffer or something like that and it's just a long running Emacs session. But that's a blocker right now and it's, GTK's pro, uh, fault, but we already know the other bug we have since uh, years, and so I don't think this one is resolved either. So, what does mean or oh, switch to non Emacs buffers while Emacs is blocking? No, you can't. Okay, now you can't do this because Emacs does the window managing as in X, uh, EXWM. So, there is a new window or you want to switch a window. So it has to go through Emacs. Emacs gets a uh, request for new window or Emacs just says lay out this window at this point. And if Emacs as it's single threaded is blocked, it can't um, issue this, this layout request. So yeah, that's not gonna work out uh, as long as Emacs is just single threaded. Um, next question, did this project can implement mirror of buffer for Emacs different window? Okay, I think I got this question. <laughs> um, can you, I, okay, in Emacs normally you know how buffers work. Like you have one buffer, you split it, you have two buffers, but it's the same buffer. Then you can take one of the buffers and look at another place in this buffer. You can't do this with Emacs buffers, but you can't do it like an XWVM. You can't do it with the X uh, windows because there's only one view on the X windows. 
So now the, spe now the special thing with Valent, you can have multiple views on the same window. And when I got to implement this idea, I was, yeah, of course, I'm going to do multiple views, same window as Emacs does it. And I had it implemented. And then I found out, no, this is not going to work. Of course, a window has always one size. Like you can't, if you have a, a, a video open, you can't just tell it, make it this size, or if you have a uh, web browser open and you can't have different sizes. So it's in principle, it's, it's uncompatible uh, with the Emacs model, like the normal desktop model model doesn't work with Emacs. So no, this still doesn't work. You can do a hack. I tried it. You have like one big window that and you have other windows and you scale them or you crop them, but this isn't well supported in WL roots. And also it doesn't make a lot of sense actually. So I scrapped it and there's just one view. Okay. So just one view because it doesn't make a lot of sense to have multiple views. How does this next question, how does the single threaded threaded affects the project? Yeah. And so far as it does affect any Emacs package, like it's not a special pro uh, problem, not a, not a actual problem. Like the only, only, um, um, there's just one thing where Emacs could block uh, the other windows. It's when the other window requests a layout, like there's a new program that opened a window or, or another window opened and Emacs is blocking and can't service this um, new surface request. So you won't see anything, but except from that, um, if you see the window Emacs hangs like with EXW VM, you just can use the other program because it's not coupled to Emacs in any significant way. Um, and the good thing is, and just a short side remark, if we want to go further than our single threaded thing is like, I think we, we have a talk somewhere in this conference, like um, how Emacs was always async and is it is or async and Emacs is async. Well, we have async processes, we have callbacks, we have network processes, we can uh, use asynchronously. And I think that's the way uh, forward for Emacs to don't be blocking, like have worker threads, something like this, and have a main thing because it's one big muddle of mud of code. I don't think you can <laughs> just um, separate it. So, but we could lean more into these helpers and workers like um, Node.js uh, does it or something like that. So next question is this technology. I have a short meta question. Do I have to stop or uh, can I answer all the questions? Um, yeah, I think we can go on for now. And um, the BBB room is also open for anyone who does want to join here to ask questions directly um, in case the stream moves on. But I think this is um, our last talk on the dev track before the launch break. So yeah, you should be good. Ah, nice. I don't need a lunch break because uh, uh, in Europe it's already like the next, <laughs> the next meal. Right. So, um, next question is this technology need write Rayland server. Can it works with GNOME three? Actually, yes, it needs to write a Wayland server because Wayland needs a Wayland server. And, uh, just for you, what does the server actually do? The server does, um, for example, it, it is the compositor. The Wayland compositor is part of the Wayland compositor. It's like difficult naming they had there. And it does uh, merging of, of windows. You have um, you have an application and it draws a window. So you give it a, a, a pixel buffer, the application draws in this pixel buffer, and then you put it on the screen and composite it with other surfaces that are on the screen. And um, you have to look into the frame rate you want to have and stuff like that. So it's really low level stuff. It's, it's, um, that's the thing the Wayland compositor does. And it does input handling like lib input and then it receives something and routes it to this surface or that surface, or I think shell it's called. It's a shell that it reserves the input. Okay, can it work with GNOME 3? Yes, maybe. I don't know how open they are and if you can integrate it, but I don't think that's that's a good direction because 
what do you gon want to build? So, ah, just one thing. Since Emacs can talk Wayland and is a normal Wayland client with the library I wrote, it can take uh, can uh, talk to any other Wayland program, and maybe you can do something useful with GNOME three and Emacs as a Wayland client, like you can automate parts of your desktop or something like that. Um, yeah, that would be a possibility. Good, I'm going now to the next question that is, could there be an Emacs Wayland server and just connect with Emacs client? Cool, I named my thing Emacs Wayland server. So there is already an Emacs Wayland server. <laughs> um, connect with Emacs client. I don't actually get the question, but I think, um, yes, of course, you have an Emacs running. It doesn't have to be an Emacs Wayland server because Emacs is multi-display. And then you can just pop open little windows in Wayland or something like this. Next question is, when you share your code, could you provide the equivalent of an X session script for those who are on XWM and want to test? Yes, I can, because it's my goal is to have it run like this for myself. But when I share the code in the coming days, as I'm planning, no, you won't run it like this because it's not that published yet. So uh, startup is a little bit more involved and I haven't researched all the ways um, you can make it polished, but it's it's on the roadmap, so stay tuned. The next question is, are nee, there have a demo demo to show this Emacs Wayland compositor, even it buggy now? Just curious. Yes, there is a demo. Like you just um, watched one in the video. It was the compositor running. It did the compositing of the um, of uh, the video I, I I made. And the other demo is the code I'm planning to to release. Um, the code right now is working, but uh, there's some documentation also, but it's not finished. So have fun digging in, digging in there, but don't expect anything like hyper polished or something like this. More, I, yeah, I'm looking for feedback and ideas and where to take this thing. Um, now we gonna get to buffer mirroring. So next question is, so the current limitation is that buffer mirroring doesn't respect different width or heights. Yeah, the, the limitation is fundamentally if you have an, an, a normal desktop window, look at your browser or your, your video player, you're just watching me. You are just watching me. It just has one size. You can't say, please make yourself this size and this size and show me two different parts of your site or that doesn't work. It's not, not, not thought like this. So you can hack something up that you have like a big window and then you show a little, a little crop part of it in another buffer. This does actually work, but just a little um, site or like, if you want to do something like this, uh, be prepared. We, uh, WL roots doesn't, um, okay. So a Wayland server or compositor has to do its own compositing. That means it has to composite uh, the different buffers or pixel buffer that it has in one pixel buffer and put it on the output. That means um, you have to do that yourself. And there's a helper to do this in WL roots. Um, this is WLR scene, is it called? And it does this for you. You build a scene tree and does damage tracking. So it doesn't repaint everything. It, it saves battery and it's a lot of work to do this and it's ready there. But what is missing in this helper is cropping and resizing. So right now you can't crop and you can't resize. And I would say this is the main blocker for using the thing I built, the uh, 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 Wayland uh, compositor, is you can't crop windows. And if you maybe you use MP, MP, MP file, like the, the video player, it doesn't respect what you tell it, uh, uh, what the size it should get. It just, uh, it keeps its aspect ratio 
and then just three specs and either width or height, but not both if they don't fit. So you want to fit it in a buffer and then it, stay, uh, it's, uh, it overflows the buffer a little bit. You can see it in the talk video. I, I, in my talk, I posted like the, the little camera picture of me is not always there where it should be. It, it's, it's over um, the mode line or something like that. And yeah, there needs to be some cropping. XWVM does cropping. It, it, it crops, um, you can try it out. If someone of you is a XWM um, user, EXWM user, um, he can do a full screen video, uh, MPV video, and then just split right. And then you see just half the video screen because um, it, it's now cropped, but the video player in the background still um, sends the full screen. Okay, so much for this topic. Ah, okay, and if you want to do cropping, you have to do your own compositor. I asked the real w, uh, WL roots, sorry, this is this W is, is complicated for me. <laughs> uh, I asked the, the uh, WL roots developers on their IRC channel and they uh, told me, yes, we wanted to have this. We have an issue open, but it's not implemented and you have to do it yourself. And yes, whoever wants this has to do it himself. And that's a lot of work in C. Okay, like... I'll jump in quickly and add, add yes. one thing. Yeah, I think we were about like two minutes break, uh, sorry, two minutes away from our lunch break, um, at which point I think the stream like will be moving on or will be stopped, but um, this BBB room will be open. Um, so yeah, Michael and anyone else who is participating in the Q&A, you're more than welcome to stay here and continue the question and answer. Okay, thank you for this announcement. Um, yeah, I, I would like to um, keep answering questions and maybe yeah, until there's no more interest or I am hungry too, but I don't need a lunch as I already said. <laughs> yep, so. okay, sounds great. Yep, so yeah, the stream, the stream uh, will probably be cut off in about a minute or so, but yeah, th this room will be open um, and you and others will be able to uh, stay here and uh, keep uh, asking and answering questions. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Then let's go on to the next question. I just scrolled, I I've, I've forgot my place. Okay, could you use some of this package with other uh, Wayland compositors? Probably not all of it, Sway, KDE, River Gnome. Yes, you can, and thank you for this idea because I, uh, uh, I already, I, I didn't think of this before you can use it because you can talk to them like you can talk the Wayland protocols you can have a look at um there's like the, the core protocol of Wayland is in the in the um, core repository of uh, the Wayland project and there's a Wayland protocols repository they have like three tier staging experimental and stable almost nothing in Wayland is stable so uh, be prepared for some changes in the future i think um and you can talk these protocols. They are not that difficult, but some things are already a bit too complicated. Like you have to take an output and then to get the actual width or something like this, you have to um, request another output and this one talks to you and the other output says, okay, I'm done or something like this. Some, some things are a little bit difficult, but it's quite readable and understandable and you can do scripting sway but i don't have a lot of um, experience there because like i i'm an xwm user i, I do it in emacs I'm, I'm staying on x i had sway several years ago but only a short time so i'm not that, that knowledgeable the next question is will valence support reach feature feature parity with xw XWM in the future. Will there be other trade-offs? No, it won't. Okay, but don't be, uh, don't think uh, it's not something for you uh, usable because I don't think all the features in the EX, EXWM is needed. I want to workspaces as I said in the talk because yeah, Emacs does workspaces and 
I won't do this, but I will do everything like what's my plan with this this thing? It's like the two use cases I already alluded to in the video video. The first is um you have a valence surface and you show it inside an Emacs buffer or an Emacs window. So you have a kind of valent buffer, I, I'm calling it. That's the thing X -W -E -E -X -W -M does. Um, and I think, yeah, it should reach feature parity with it. It also has output management and like the input handling, there's like the simulation keys and um, I don't know what else, but actually I don't have an, a solution yet for um, the input handling. That's a thing I haven't looked that much into. Will there be other trade-offs? Yeah, most certainly there are always trade-offs, but I can't tell you which. <laughs> so the next question is, what is the biggest difference between X, Org, and Wayland that you have found? Okay, what's the biggest difference? The biggest difference. Don't know, actually, don't know. First of all, I'm not that knowledgeable in XORG. I used it, but I have never programmed an X window manager. I haven't looked a lot into it, except XWM. I, I, XWM. I looked into the code, in the ELISP code, and how it does the communication, and uh, took inspiration, of course. Um, Yeah, big difference is you don't have one monolithic server, like you have one X org server, and in Wayland you have a lots of servers, like uh, Gnome has one, KDE has one, um, then WL Roots is another um, approach, Sway has an implementation in WL Roots, and so on. So now it's the last question I find in my pad is, did you know EAF? Yes, I know, of course, like I think we have a talk, we have a talk. We had talks in the, uh, and I never used it. I'm sorry. Maybe it's interesting. It's Python. I don't do a lot of Python. And similar use case. It's like, I think it's embedded X widgets. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's all I can say, say to this topic. But I think like any application framework you can want to do in Emacs or stuff like that will mesh really good with a Emacs compositor that is integrated or like almost integrated in Emacs. Because now you can use this to do your application framework and uh, paint the windows in Emacs. And I think maybe we can come back to the reparenting X, X thing, what I, which I don't really understand. Um, so I don't know exactly how X does the, the X widgets, like no, no idea, but I think we can do something similar with, um, with Wayland, like we can just embed the little, um, the Wayland surfaces in an Emacs buffer. And that's a thing I wanted to, uh, get a discussion started someone, um, yeah, maybe someone has an idea. Maybe someone is uh, already deep down in Emacs internals and knows how these um, display stuff works, like image display, X widget display, and so on. And maybe this person or <laughs> someone else has an idea how we could um, do the Wayland surface. Right now, it's just a um, Emacs receives a request for a new surface. Okay, you are open a new program. The program um, says to the Valiant server, hey, I'm here. I want to have surface. Valiant server my, um, um, gives it the surface, surface and says to Emacs, hey, here's a new surface. You can lay it out. And Emacs then can lay it out or not, however it likes. Normally, the, the default path I choose is Emacs bundles, Emacs bundles the surface with a buffer. And if the buffer is shown, it shows the surface. And otherwise, it's just hidden but you can do whatever you want with the surface. You just have to say, please put it at this coordinate and this width and this height. 
So you can put it in a buffer and you can scroll it in a buffer. But this integration, how to put something in a buffer and scroll it there, I don't know how to do it and I don't know how to do it. It should be like a good solution. I don't know how to do it. Maybe someone of you has an idea. Um, I'm finished with the question of the questions of the pad. I haven't have a look uh, had a look in IRC because um, yes, I was busy talking. Um, I can either like browse through the IRC if you want, or maybe someone wants to say something or have a like a ah thank you. I already answered the IRC question, so um, yes, I'm finished. Um, I still see some people in the room. Yeah, maybe someone of you has an idea or wants to use it. I don't know how fast I will have it in a usable state. It's like at first I just wanted to do this presentation and show to you the possibility. I already read in the internet some places like uh, in the Emacs Devil mailing list that was one time and other places that it was would uh, that other people's had the same I uh, other person had the same ideas. But I uh, was I was thinking just to to lay out the general idea to you. And then I thought, okay, do an experiment, show if it works. And the experiment spun a little bit, um, it worked. And so I got further and now I have an, an, an the almost usable thing, but I already um, spent like a month with it. So it will take some more time to finish. Yeah, thanks that you think uh, Gary Garciola, Gariola, that you think it's 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 <laughs> you are happy to test it. Thank you. I would like to have it like a little little bit more flexible than the X solutions because, as I I told you, can have it nested like you have a normal Emacs and you can just. Um, do the, the embedding and uh, the embedded uh, surfaces and so in a norm normal Emacs and you don't have to uh, give Emacs the whole desktop. So you don't have to do XWVM, XWM. You can just um, have uh, yeah, a normal Emacs window and have all the goodies and features there. Okay, again, uh, the code will be available on my site. Like I can post you the link, but there's nothing there yet. So wait a few days. I was thinking of doing it uh, this weekend, but it's EmacsConf and I want to um, listen to your ideas and participate and don't do coding instead. This is the link. Um, I could put it on another CodeForge, but I want to do something myself <laughs> instead. I have a landing page. Uh, if I put it in my browser, it's just, um, yeah, no connection possible. It's, it's not configured, it's just bought, like wait a, wait a, <laughs> wait a few days. Okay. Short question for the room. Does anyone know someone else working on stuff like this? Because if, if, um, please let them know so we can team up and don't do it um, twice. Um, I had a lot of fun with the Emacs part of the code. I like uh, coding in Elisp, Lisp in general, but it's not that much fun to work on the C side. Like it's complex and prone to break. So don't mind <laughs> collaborating. Didn't will why the 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 uh, sad face.
Ah, yes, I know the lack of active development. Ah, okay, because you, yeah, so no problem. You can't know anyone or a lot of, like, it's, it's a good thing. So I got to start it and I wanted to start. It. Um, you know, of people quitting the XWM. I don't have problems yet. It's it's not that I started implementing this because I thought, ah, uh, it's not working anymore. I need something new. It's like, it works fine. I just did it because I thought, well, why not do something new? And because it uh, opens new um, possibilities, which weren't there before, or at least I didn't know of them. Okay. Um, how could I put this? Okay, if it's ready for no, also I will promote it if it's ready for normal use. Like uh, you can just install it and use it for an everyday driver and have you do your X session file and can just start it up. It won't be an X session file because that's X and that's a thing of the past, and but something similar. I could imagine posting like, I don't know, Emacs list, Reddit, something like this. But um, until then, like the code I will release now, it's just experimental and it's, it's for the people who want to get involved and or want to do their own thing with it, use the client to automate sway or so for them, it's really interesting. Yes, I know. Um, like you, you. Okay, this way. Punct el. I have to look at it, but I don't think now is a good idea. Maybe is something useful there. Thank you, Plasma Strike, and Gargiola. Yes, people are moving, and uh, Valent is the future. That's that's the point I wanted to say. Like. I think you can stay on X like in the future, but it's not gonna get that much development and sooner or later, like there will be new features and you won't have it in the old one and stuff like that. And for Emacs to be viable as a window manager in this uh, whole computing en environment, or as I said, a Lispy um, Linux desktop, I think it needs to have this valent cap capability and yeah, that's the way for it to get it. I'm just reading the IRC, IRC log and someone wrote, I was amazed to see the video inside Emacs. Thank you. That was um, meant to be uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, Emacs could already do. I'm just reading the IRC. <clears throat> because I don't know what else to say right now.
Yeah, it's nice to see so many people saying thank, uh, thank you and at least I, I read it like two times now. So yeah, I'm pleased to see this and the interest in general. Okay, um, I see there's still some people typing and it's a lot of mo uh, more thank yous and yeah, thank you, I'm pleased. And I will um, publish stuff, like if it's usable, um, It's uh, I, I want to use it myself. So if you're in luck, um, you can use it too. And let's see, um, I think I wrap up this Q&A here and yeah, thank you for the discussion, for your questions and your interest and have a nice rest of EmacsConf. Bye. I'm just gonna leave the room or microphone or go back to EmacsConf. Sounds good. Thanks again. Ah, you're still there. <laughs> hey, yeah, I just got back for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, just wanted to say thanks for the great talk and I'll definitely be rewatching it and the QA. Um and yeah, it's very exciting stuff. Yeah, thank you. I, I got the feedback now. It's it's exciting. And it's, I think so too. So yeah, have yeah. a nice time at EmacsConf and see you next time. Bye. Thank you. You as well. See you around. Bye.